Did you know that one of the biggest roadblocks to weight loss is focusing too much on how many pounds you're losing? That's right. The more you focus on that, it's possible, but the less you're going to find it. One observation that I've continually seen while taking care of patients is that those who focus too much on how much weight they're losing tend to get discouraged more quickly and lose sight of their ultimate goal of a healthy life. When they're not losing weight like they'd hope, they tend to give up and usually gain more weight after. So to have success in your weight loss goals, focus more on achieving a healthy lifestyle, eating right, and learn to enjoy exercise. And then the weight will come off on its own. Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Richardson, a board certified family practice physician. I'd like to welcome you to Family Med, a channel that focuses on giving you practical and accurate medical information to help you and your family. As you can see in today's video, we're going to be going over some of the most common roadblocks that are keeping you from your weight loss goals. This is the second part of a two part series that addresses this important topic. The next roadblock that we need to talk about is exercise. We all know that we need to exercise, but the biggest problem most of us have is thinking that we don't have time to do it. Many of my patients feel like they can't exercise as well because they don't have time or they can't afford going to a gym. We've seen this a lot more during the COVID lockdowns. The reality is though that you don't need to go to a gym to get in shape. Studies have shown that even a brisk walk, 30 minutes a day, at least five days a week, can make a big difference in helping you achieve your weight loss goals. Other techniques that are helpful are just doing simple things like taking the stairs and parking your car further away. For those who may have issues with pain that is preventing you from getting exercise, work with your doctor on an appropriate activities that can still get your heart rate up. There are plenty of low impact options that really can make a big difference. Ultimately though, it's something you just need to make a priority in your life. You need to make time for it because eventually if you don't, it will take time from you. The next roadblock we need to talk about is stress. Stress is something that we all deal with, but it can have a significant impact on our health. Stress, and especially chronic stress, releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol has a lot of different effects, but one of them is that it causes a release of glucose into your bloodstream, giving you energy to deal with whatever situation is in front of you. This is a good thing when you're needing to run or fight from something dangerous. When it happens chronically though, it can uh, have a harmful impact on your health. These higher levels of sugar makes your body produce more insulin. This does two things. The first is that it acts to stimulate the body to store any unused glucose as fat. And it also causes your blood sugars to drop. When this happens, we get hungry and tend to crave foods that will help our sugars rise. Usually these are the kind of foods also that we need to most avoid. In addition to this, when we're stressed, we tend not to think as clearly, we emotionally eat, we grab quick things and we don't eat or sleep very well. All of this combines to be a disaster to our healthy goals. So finding ways to control or eliminate the things in your life that are causing stress are key to being successful. The next roadblock could be coming from your medicine cabinet. Sometimes some of the medications you could be taking can play a role in weight gain or at least making it more difficult for you to lose. I can't go through every medication, but there are several common ones that can have this effect. First, for those who have diabetes, medications like your insulin, pioglitazone, glipizide, or gliburide can have an effect. Now there's several psychiatric medications like amitriptyline, doxepin, sertraline, paroxetine, lithium, haloperidol, risperdone, and olanzapine that can cause you issues. Now for those who are being treated for seizures, medications like valproic acid, carbamazepine, and gabapentin can cause weight gain. Then there's steroids like prednisone and cortisone which can have an effect. Now birth control is another one that has been shown in some people to cause weight gain. But we also see frequent use of antihistamines like Benadryl and finally blood pressure medications like propranolol, metoprolol, and atenolol can help you pack on the pounds. Now I mentioned these medications so you can have a good discussion with your doctor about them. In no way should you go stopping them on your own without the advice of your doctor. The next thing that is standing in your way is that you're probably not getting enough sleep. Studies have shown that not getting enough sleep can slow down your metabolism and change the balance of certain hormones that can increase your hunger and appetite. Those who get less than seven hours of sleep are more likely to be overweight or obese. Also, take a look at your sleep and how you feel after waking up. There is a condition called sleep apnea where you stop breathing at night. 
It's a very common condition that can get worse if you're overweight. If you have it, it can also make it more difficult to lose weight. So if you're a loud snorer, you stop breathing or gasp for air at night while sleeping and wake up feeling really tired, then you need to go to your doctor and talk to them about sleep apnea. It could be getting in the way of you losing weight. The next issue that I see is long or irregular work schedules. When you don't have a set schedule, it's more difficult to find time to exercise and you're going to more likely to skip meals or grab quick and unhealthy foods. To combat this, work on planning ahead. Take healthy meals and snacks with you. Take advantage of breaks and go on a walk. And if your work is truly unhealthy and standing in the way of your goals, then see what kinds of adjustments you can make to your schedule or even change jobs. Now this next one is a little more difficult and not as easy to change, and that's your family. Family can be one of the biggest supports in our weight loss journey, but what if they're part of the problem? Many of our diet habits come from how we grow up, and not everybody may be on board with your desires to live healthy. So if you find yourself in this situation, don't be afraid to talk to them about what your goals are and why. Now if you're charging cooking meals, then don't fall into the trap where you feel like you have to cook separate meals for everybody. The whole family is going to benefit from eating healthier. Now, if you don't have a say in what's being prepared, then work on keeping your portions down. Make recipe suggestions or even volunteer to cook. So those are some of the most common barriers that I see my patients run into. Some are more challenging than others, but they can all be overcome. But don't feel like you need to tackle everything all at once though. Pick one goal, work on it, and then move on once you achieve it. Bit by bit, you're going to find success. Persistence is the key. Getting to a healthy weight is absolutely worth it and possible. So get out there and get to work and make your health a priority. Well, thanks for watching today. I really hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and share it with your friends. It helps our channel to grow and reach others that may need this in their life. And don't leave without subscribing and hitting that notification button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Well, we appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video.